We love, we love chatting with people that are making a difference in the entrepreneurial community. That means people that have ideas, people that have ideas, but better than that, don't just take that idea and, and sort of think about it and dream about it, but they actually turn it into a reality. And that's why we have Stephen Dime of Flowers for Dreams on with us on Get Down to Business. He's a guy who I've gotten to know over these past few months, and he's really, really shaking it up in the, uh, in the world of online businesses, in the world of entrepreneurship. We're just thrilled to have you on the air. Stephen, thanks for joining us on Get Down to Business. Shalom, good to be here. I'm excited to talk. Okay, fantastic. So uh, before we talk about how you've sort of turned that idea into a reality, tell us about Flowers for Dreams. Sure. So the premise of Flowers for Dreams is, is actually pretty simple. Um, we sell locally crafted flower bouquets online for just $35 and, and free delivery. Uh, and then each purchase, each bouquet benefits an amazing local charity. Uh, we wanted a way to, to purchase local flowers at fair and honest prices. Uh, and that's what we do at flowersfordreams.com. Fantastic. And I'm actually looking at your site right now. First of all, the bouquets on the page right now, they say modern bouquets. They're just dropped at gorgeous. And as you said, uh, they're, they're a decent price, free delivery, and the, each of the bouquets uh, benefit a local charity. Uh, that's fantastic. Are you doing this only in Chicago right now? Yes, o- o- only in Chicago. Uh, we're online and local, kind of a, a hybrid between the two types of businesses. So, so our storefront is our website, uh, but we do all delivery by hand, and we do all of the design in-house. Cool. So uh, I know that an idea like that, uh, that's, first of all, a good business idea, but also, as you said, uh, helping the community by supporting local charities uh, probably didn't, uh, didn't happen one day uh, while you were in the shower, and it was just a, a brainstorm that popped up. There's probably a story over here. Tell us the story of Flowers for Dreams. <laughs> uh, there is. Um, and it really was born out of, of, of just being kind of upset with the way flowers were bought and sold now. I mean, as, as flower consumers, um, we wanted something that was a bit more inspiring. And as I said before, fair and honest. It's really that simple. So we tried to marry the idea of social conscience and giving back to providing a product that's uh, you know, what, what you see is what you get and, uh, you know, something that is affordable and accessible for everybody, not just the, the wealthy few, which flowers typically uh, have been geared towards, and then giving someone a reason to buy them beyond just sending a gift or, or sending a thank you, uh, but a, a way to, to give back at the same time. Interesting. And the delivery service, do you handle that internally? Do you have uh, drivers that are running around or do you outsource that service? We, we do it all in-house. Uh, so we, it's unique in the sense that we actually touch every part of the process. We are sourcing the flowers here, as I said, locally. We're designing it all in, in-house. And then we have a team of delivery drivers uh, and even bike couriers in Chicago's Loop area uh, that deliver by hand. Uh, so we're ensuring that quality control really at kind of an unprecedented levels for, for our online um, competitors. And I can tell you uh, that uh, Stephen's not just saying that as we've been uh, promoting, uh, you know, that you are going to be on the air uh, tweeting this out. And I guess uh, a little bit of a plug where we, we definitely tweet and Facebook uh, the messages uh, ab- about the show. We tell you who's going to be up next. Uh, you know, we, we got a lot of emails uh, from people saying, yeah, just order from Flowers for Dreams. The the flowers looked gorgeous and and people just raving about what you're doing. And it, you're a relatively new business, but you've made a great difference in the community already, which is just fantastic. Uh, so uh, you're here in Chicago. You're uh, a web-based business. And, uh, you know, we just talked with somebody about mobile apps. Do you have a mobile app for Flowers for Dreams? No, we don't. But it's actually in the pipeline. And I think um, what I believe Alex was saying earlier uh, is, is the same thing that, that we're trying to do. It, you know, we're very much a technology-enabled company. Um, we use technology to be able to offer free delivery. Uh, we use a routing system. And we, we have a mobile website that is really kind of prides itself on, on being simple and minimalist. Um, we don't try and upsell you. We don't have silly teddy bears and balloons that we often don't believe need to go alongside flowers. Uh, we want to give you a process that makes sense and is easy and can be fast. Um, and, and, that, and that's a big part of, of what we do. 
That's great. And we share a mentor in common. Uh, we both are good friends with uh, Bruce Leon of Tandem HR. And uh, Bruce has given me a great amount of advice about how to how to leverage and how to build a business and how to surround yourself with good people, uh, which is just fantastic. So how large is your team now? I mean, it, meant, it sounds like you're, you're involved in, in a lot of different areas of the process in both sourcing the flowers all the way down to the delivery. Uh, is th- this, this office, uh, you see so you're in Chicago, you've got a, a nice team of people. Are you, uh, I think I saw a Craigslist post recently that you were hiring, I think a driver. Are you actually looking for people right now? Yes, we're actually hiring for two different positions, and we have a team of nine uh, that includes our, our drivers, our floral designers, and of course our, our business development and marketing team. And uh, we're looking for a position, both uh, w- one other driver right now at the moment and uh, someone in business development. And we're always looking to, uh, to, for people rather than, than positions. And um, so if there is anybody out there that's uh, looking to get involved with, with our startup company, we'd love to hear. Fantastic. And we'll be sure to share your contact information in just a moment, uh, which is, uh, you know, really, we on Get Down to Business, we love entrepreneurs. And that's why we love Stephen Dime, who's really making a difference. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch your progress and to sort of grow with you. Stephen, I just hope you continue to take our calls and uh, continue to join us on the air to share the story of your success. Uh, and uh, after after the show, of course, uh, our podcasts are available on the website at shalomkline.com. I definitely would encourage everybody to uh, download this podcast and then get in touch with Stephen. We'll share your contact information in just a few moments. But Stephen, you're a young guy. You're a young entrepreneur. You had an idea. You're making a difference. What advice do you have for for people, uh, you know, your age that want to make, uh, that want to sort of follow your lead and and take an idea? They everybody has ideas. And they want to turn it into a reality. They want to take a business idea and not just talk about it, but actually do it. What advice would you have to share with them? Well, you know, I'd give, I'd give probably two different pieces of advice. Um, one, which is kind of rather cliche, which is, you know, the, the, the kind of the ethos of ready, fire, aim. Uh, build a product, whether or not it's perfect, something that can maybe acquire a customer, find someone to pay you, and try it out. Uh, don't invest a whole bunch, uh, the whole bunch, and, and, and try something. Uh, and then the other thing I'd say is uh, a lot of business owners ask how, ask how we've done what we've done in, in less than two years. And I think when, when you talked about giving back, uh, one of the easiest things uh, to, for businesses to do to set themselves apart is uh, to identify a way um, to, to connect to the community in, in, in ways that feel authentic, in ways that are authentic, whether it's actually giving back, literally aligning with organizations that do good work in your related field. So I would say if, if you're a, a young person or if, if you're an existing business owner, if you can figure out a way to create a more conscious uh, mission, then you're probably doing something right in this era of, of conscious capitalism. Good for you for appreciating that. And and I love what you said earlier that you, you look for the people rather than the position. Our next guest, Andrea Stores of ADMS Inc. and, and, and The Ark uh, in West Rogers Park is uh, certainly going to love that you said that. Uh, you know, we're, we're all about, you know, trying to find the right people, trying to give people those opportunities. And there's a lot of talent out there. And, and, and that's what this show is all about, sort of connecting the dots, uh, which is just huge. So, Stephen, keep up the good work. And uh, we're looking forward to following your success. Uh, Stephen, how can people find uh, order to place an order on, on Flowers for Dreams, but also follow up and uh, get in touch with you? Sure, absolutely. Well, they can order in two ways. One at uh, flowersfordreams.com. That's flowers, F-O-R, dreams.com. And then call us at our local number, 312-620-1410. And I'm going to give out my email for anybody who's interested, whether it's a job uh, or just in connecting, because that's what I like to do. It's Stephen, S-T-E-V-E-N, at flowersfordreams.com. Uh, you're the man. Um, well, thank you for joining us. And again, we'll uh, we'll follow your success and we'll continue to promote those those jobs and uh, have you back on to share your uh, entrepreneurial advice as well. Uh, after the break, we're going to be talking with Andrea Stores of ADMS Inc. and The Arc. Uh, we're taking your calls. Andrea is going to be talking about networking your way into a job, a subject that uh, that I'm very passionate about. And I know it's going to be a great discussion. We're taking your calls at 312-642-5600, 312-642-5600. You can always get on my website at shalomkline.com, S-H-A-L-O-M-K-L-E-I-N.com. 
and you can find out which guests will be joining us on Get Down to Business next week. You can also download podcasts from the show, and you can find out more information about the business event. The business event is that free event that I keep telling you about. It's a free business and employment expo for the first time. We're doing it in downtown Chicago on October 30th at Block 37. Check out the website, uh, thebusinessevent.com. You can register. It's a free event. We're going to have a lot of networking, a lot of small business, and we're actually going to have a job clinic offered there by Andrea Stores who you're going to be hearing from in a moment. After the break, we're talking with Andrea Stores about networking your way into a job. Don't tune that dial. We're all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. <laughs> 